Hi, this is Cam. Welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking. Today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you how to change your home address for Apple Maps. I did a video previously about this and I think it needs to be updated, so this is the new version. Uh, it's very simple. I just kind of wanted to show you how it works. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a real quickie. So basically, why should you change the address inside of your it's meant, you know, I would say 99% of the time people do this in their phone so that they can use their navigation to take them home. So if you have your home address programmed in and it is saved as your home address, then you can easily use Apple Maps to take you home. You know, if you have Apple CarPlay, just say, you know, hey, navigate home, or if you have Siri, Siri, navigate home, whatever. Um, no matter where you are, simply ask Apple Maps to navigate home and it will take you there. If you do not have it programmed in correctly, when you select the home button, you may be routed somewhere else. Mine used to take me somewhere in Kansas. I don't really know why. I think it was just set to United States as my home and maybe this place it was taking me to was in the middle of, of the United States somewhere. I'm not really sure. Regardless, it's super easy to change. I'm going to show you right now. I'm also going to show you how to change your work um, address, so stay tuned for that also. Okay, so anyways, what you want to do first is open up your phone app. Mine's at the bottom of my screen on my phone, yours may be somewhere else, but open it up. Just by clicking on it, my cute little arrow, okay. And now when you're going to have your phone, you're going to have your dials and all this stuff up here, but I wanted to zoom in on the bottom part so you could see what it looks like. So everything else is up here. Down at the very bottom, you're going to have a blue section called Contacts. Okay, that's where you want to click. So just click on Contacts. Now, like I said, this is part of a bigger screen. I just wanted to zoom in so you knew what things uh, look like. So under your name, there's a little uh, text right there that will say My Card. So you want to click on My Card. Once you click on that, it's going to bring you basically to your contact information within your phone. So you're going to edit your card um, to make sure you have an address in here. So if you don't have one in there, that could be part of the problem. So anyways, you click this little plus sign right here and type in your address. Make sure your full street address, city name, state, and zip are correct. Okay? If you don't get it right, then the navigation may not take you to the right spot. So just double check it. And so just type, when you click on this, it's going to open up a little form and just type it in. It's very simple. And then click done when you are completed uh, entering it all in. Okay? So first you're going to add your address, then you're going to click done. Very uh, complex, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so now you're going to open up the apps, the map app. Okay? Right now, your home is going to be there and it's going to tell you approximately how far you are from it. But let's verify that we have it correct and that Apple Maps is looking at the right data. So click on more, which is right here. Okay. So once you click on that, your favorites are going to come up. So I put in Disneyland as my home, only because I'm obviously not going to type in my real address. But uh, So I chose Disneyland. So my favorites are home and work. Work, I don't have anything in there yet. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. Now, if you look at this and you realize that it's not correct, if you click on this little I, um, it'll bring up the screen where you can edit it. So, um, what was I going to say? You can edit it. You can change your, um, I think what it's called. Put it on here. Yeah, your pin. You know how it has a little pin on the map. You can move the pin. Um, so, yeah, if you click on this little eye right here, then you can go in and edit that. I'm not going to show that because this is pretty straightforward. I'm sure your address is correct if you follow the other steps correctly. But I do want to show you how to add your work address, which is also very simple. But um, anyways, let's click on work. So click on add your work. And it's going to say set up contact card, blah, 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 blah. So then we're going to... 
uh, basically open up our contact card where we were before when we put in our home address. But we're just coming in a different way and that's why we have this screen. And it's basically telling you that if you keep your contact card up to date, the maps will stay up to date. So click right here, down here at the bottom, open up my contact card. Oh, before I forget, if you are enjoying this video, please give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That would be great. And I uh, thank you in advance if you do subscribe. Okay, back to this. Let's type in your work address. Okay, since we live at Disneyland, let's work at the Queen Mary. So you click the little plus button and type in the address for your work. And then when you're done, you click done, which is up here on the top, which I've, I've cropped off. but. So after you're done with this, you're going to have your home address saved, your work address saved, and Apple Maps will access your contact card and have links to those two locations for easy navigation. So here we go. So we're just going to choose one. If you want to go home, click here. If you want to go to work, click here. If you want to go somewhere else, click in here and type. It's pretty simple. And the best part about this is you can use your voice. Uh, commands in your car. Be like, hey, take me home. Hey, Google, now get me home, or whatever. And it'll open up and take you there. That's it. That was simple, straightforward. I hope that you learned something. Um, I hope that this made sense to you and you're able to um, edit your addresses easily. It's very simple. Just, just open up the phone app go to your contact card and that's where you want to edit the data. And once you edit it there, Apple Maps will automatically change it so that if you, the next time you open up Apple Maps, it'll use whatever information is in your contact card. That's it. So I uh, hope you liked it and I'll see you next time.